Another important thing which is being done is integration with treasures. So whenever you are reading an explanation of a question and you want to read some additional points related to that or you want to quickly revise related points, the explanation will also be linked to treasures at many places. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Sandeep Sharma, your Pediatric Super Speciality Faculty. And I am here to discuss one of the exciting new announcements regarding the QBank. So QBank 2.0 in Pediatric Super Speciality is going to release very soon. The entire QBank has been updated, it has been revamped and it has many exciting new features. So let me enumerate some of these features for you. First of all, the questions are going to be a mix of fact-based questions. There will be added number of clinical questions as well as image-based questions. Secondly, you will find that the explanation has been made more crisp and we have tried to cover all the options which have been given in the question, particularly the clinical questions. Thirdly, the pattern of question is based upon the latest exam pattern of super specialty exams and the references have been used from standard latest edition of the textbooks. Fourthly, you will find some special value additions, one of them being integration with video lectures. So whenever you solve a question and you are reading the explanation, each explanation wherever possible will be linked to its corresponding video link and so you can click on it and it will take you to the video section where the, that particular segment, that particular explanation is being discussed. It will save your time and it will also help you in case you are reading something, you marked a question wrong and you want to go through that video part again. So it will take you not to the entire video but that particular timestamp will be added progressively to most of the new uh, clinical based questions which are being added. Another important thing which is being done is integration with treasures. So whenever you are reading an explanation of a question and you want to read some additional points related to that or you want to quickly revise related points, the explanation will also be linked to treasures at many places. So you can directly click on the link and go to the treasures and revise it there and then. And finally, a very, very exciting, extraordinary feature which is being added is active guidance. What exactly is active guidance? Basically, active guidance is a tool which will help you in increasing the response to the question, increasing the accuracy. This active guidance feature will be available for the new clinical oriented clinical stem questions being added in the super speciality QBank. For example, you have a question in front of you. It's a lengthy question. It has about 10, 12 lines. And many times you uh, may find that uh, when you are solving such questions, you may not be able to reach the correct answer or you may make a wrong diagnosis. So whenever you will solve these questions, as soon as that question is attempted, certain keywords in the questions will get highlighted. When these keywords get highlighted, they will tell you that these are the keywords based upon which the specific diagnosis has been made. It will help you in correlating and abbreviating the entire long question into a few key points. Let me give you an example for the same. Now have a look at this question which has been taken from the QBank. And this is the Q, Q question ID which has been given. So the question goes something like this. A seven-year-old boy presents to primary care physician with mild edema in his hands and feet, slightly elevated BP, cola-colored foamy urine. Image of the urine sample is shown in the image. His mother reports that he has complained of a sore throat few times over the past two weeks, but otherwise has been healthy until last night when she noticed the swelling and unusual urine. Which of the following changes in the glomerulus best describes the presence of foamy urine in this patient? And we have four options being given. Now for such questions, First of all, the problems in such questions are, they are clinical oriented questions, but they are lengthy in nature. And many times you may skip out on important keywords. Secondly, first you need to make the diagnosis, correlate with the image, and then you need to know the theoretical or conceptual basis behind this to reach the correct answer. So, how, when, as soon as you attempt this question, you will find that these keywords get highlighted. So, what are the keywords which are getting highlighted? See the keywords which are getting highlighted now. The words getting highlighted are seven-year-old boy. So, a school-going age boy. Then, mild edema in hands and feet. So, edema is there. Elevated BP, that is hypertension is there. Cola-colored urine, suggestive of hematuria. Foamy urine, suggestive of proteinuria. So, there is proteinuria, hematuria, edema and hypertension in a school-going boy with history of sore throat over the past two weeks. Everything fitting into post-streptococcal nephritis. So this question is asking you, well, what is the reason for foamy urine in this patient? Foamy urine basically indicates 
Cola colored is because of hematuria. Foamy urine is because of protein urea. So question is basically asking you why foamy urine that is protein urea happens in post streptococcal nephritis. And then you have the four options. Always remember the key concept that whenever you have significant protein urea, either quantitated significant either quantitated by urine protein creatinine ratio, or you find that there is a visibly frothy urine. There has been a significant change in the texture of urine we find that it usually indicates some degree of significant protein urea and protein urea usually denotes injury to podocytes of the glomerulus. It can arise from other parts of the nephron as well, but podocyte injury, podocyte inflammation is one of the most important cause. So when you highlight, when you attempt these questions, these keywords will help you. Then when you move towards the answer, it will give you the answer. The answer to this question is C. Explanation if you look at the points, all the points which I told you, all these points have been mentioned there. So it is not a very lengthy explanation, but all the key points have been covered. And one of the options was related to sclerosis. They have also talked about the sclerosis of the glomerular layer, which occurs in other conditions like uh, lupus erythematosus or diabetes mellitus. And they are seen in chronic renal diseases, not in acute post streptococcal nephritis. So you can also get additional points from the explanation itself for future MCQs. And then you will find reference of standard textbooks being mentioned. If you click on the treasure which is there, it will take you to the treasure and all the key points related to post streptococcal nephritis will be available to you. So this active guidance thing is an extraordinary new exciting feature we have worked upon. It will be added to the new clinical questions being added in the QBank 2.0. We have taken all feedbacks. And we hope this QBank 2.0 is going to be all that you need to ace your NEED super specialty exams with flying colors. Mm -hmm.